Hi guys, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. This pan fried fish recipe is my interpretation of the Cantonese steamed fish with a twist. And for sure, I pan fry instead of steaming the fish and season with salt and black pepper, lightly coated with cornstarch and pan fry to perfection. The sauce, however, is the classic Hong Kong style sauce for fish. It's made with light soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and scallion. And I make sure that the skin is crispy. So on the whole, it is a hybrid version of Asian and Western cuisines. Pan fried entirely in Western style, and the sauce is an authentically Cantonese style. Eager to try? Let's get into the details right in. We need to make a sauce for the pan fried fish. As I mentioned, this recipe is a hybrid between Western and Cantonese style. This sauce is commonly called steamed fish sauce or ting yu jiang among the Cantonese. I noticed there's a potential to pair with pan fried fish and that's how to make it. Costly chop a few shallots or you can substitute it with half an onion. Get a few slices of ginger. Costly chop a few cloves of garlic. And two stalks of scallion cut into short sections. Heat some oil in the wok over medium heat. Then saute the costly chopped garlic and ginger until aromatic. Followed by adding the shallots and then the scallion. Keep sauteing for another half a minute. Then add the following ingredients. Some sugar. Light soy sauce. The flavor of the final sauce depends mainly on the quality of the soy sauce. Therefore, please choose a premium grade light soy sauce for this recipe. Also add some water and then simmer over low heat for about 10 minutes to extract the flavor from all these aromatics. Lastly, add some ground white pepper, a small amount of sesame oil, and Shaoxing wine. Wait until it comes back to a boil. And then, Pour the sauce through a wire mesh strainer to catch all the aromatics. And that's the sauce we're gonna serve with the pan fried fish later. So much about the sauce, now let's get back to the fish. I'm using wild halibut, but you can use other fillets that you like. Cod fish is a good substitute. Or try to use a whole fish. Most Cantonese like to do that. Palm fruit is a, is a good example. Pat dry with kitchen paper towel. Then season with salt and pepper on both sides. Don't worry, it's gonna become too salty since the sauce for the fish only contains light soy sauce. There isn't any salt in it. Get some cornstarch and put it into a sieve or a wire mesh strainer. Then sprinkle the cornstarch all over the fish and then pat it gently to let it adhere to the surface. Dust off any excess and set aside. Now we got the sauce ready, we have the fish get prepared and now we move on to prepare the topping. The topping for the fish is a mix of sliced ginger, scallion, and red chili. These items serve two purposes. First, it looks gorgeous with a combination of green, yellow, and red. Secondly, they release additional flavor when the hot oil splashes on them at the last stage of preparation. Slice the scallion thinly. 
Put it in cold water and drain after 5 minutes. Similarly, cut the red chili. Put it into cold water and drain just like the scallion. The scallion and chili will eventually curl up beautifully. As for the ginger, cut it into thin slices, then into thin strips. Now let's get back to the fish. Pour a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a pan. When the oil is heated, place the fish skin side down. Turn the heat down to medium low and leave the fillet undisturbed for the first 3 minutes. The skin will be less sticky to the pan when it starts to crisp up. After that, check the color of the skin until it starts to reach light golden. It will take roughly about 6 minutes. Flip the fillet to pan fry the other side. And remove the fillet when it is fully cooked, which will take about an additional 2 minutes. Now I will show you how to plate it and serve. Place the pan fried fish fillet skin side up on a plate with a slightly raised edges to hold the sauce. Spoon the sauce for the fish into the plate and be careful not to wet any part of the skin that is crispy. And then place the topping on top of the fish. Heat a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a small pan until it reaches near to the smoking point. Pour the hot oil over the topping. You will hear the sizzling sound and that's where the additional flavor released from the ginger, chili and scallion. It also helps to crease up the skin further. Enjoy your fish immediately. That's how I cook my pan fried fish with the western style pan fry method and combined with a Hong Kong style authentically Cantonese sauce. If you like this recipe, I've included it in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give me a like. I'll see you again in some other similar video very soon in the future and bye for now.